Hello, Dodgy Gamer here, and today I'm going to remain calm. No rants, no criticism. Let's just be relaxed. We've got a tough game at home to Besiktas, and then a tough game away to Kayseri Spor, so I'm going to save all my nervous energy for those matches. Let's play some Football Manager. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started on today's episode. We are playing at home to Besiktas, but before we get into that game, let's have a look at what we've been up to uh, since the Sivas Sport game last time. So we followed that up with a game in the Cup, uh, away to lower league opposition. Very easy win, brought a lot of the youngsters in, was very happy with how everybody played, stuck with the same formation that we had against Sivas Sport. All went according to plan. Then we had a complete disaster, because I was happy with that formation. Obviously, I shouldn't read too much into it working well uh, in, in a cup match against the lower league side, but I kind of tweaked it a little bit for Antalya Spore, uh, and they completely overran us. 5-2, uh, it was not a fun match to watch. Although, if you look at the stats, I mean, they obviously... They created a lot of chances, far too many chances. We still had our own chances. Uh, but if you look at, let's just look at some of the names on their team. Uh, Samuel Eto'o. Um, Samir Nasri. That was a bit of a surprise to see him in the Antalya Spore team. Um, Sandro, formerly of Tottenham Hotspur. So, you know, they've got the nucleus of a team which, you know, seven or eight years ago would have been a very good premiership side there at Antalya Spore. The only uh, bright light for us was Shaban Ashuk came on when Mariki got injured and he bagged two goals, his first two goals for the club. So that was really good to see. That's a 17 year old who was in our under 19 team when I arrived. And you can see there from the brief bits of game time he's had and the training, he's improving across the board. So that's been really good to see. So I'm gonna keep bringing him into rotation in the first team more. Then we did bounce back from that though with a pair of 3-1 wins. Um, again, I kind of tweaked the, the home setup, the 4-4-2 for this. Uh, both games followed a similar pattern. In, the, in both of them, we started strongly, um, but we did struggle a bit in the second half, which is a little bit of a concern. Um, the good thing is that in the games, we started strongly and we capitalized on it. You can see here two early goals uh, in the first 15 minutes. Claro coming up from defense. Shaban Ishuk again. He got a start in that match. That was great to see. Um, then in the second half, they got an early goal. And they were the better side in the second half, goes Tepe. But uh, Guy Delay scored late on, which was good that we were able to you know, take advantage of them uh, on the counter-attack as they started to push for that equaliser. And then Akisar Spor, who are down near the bottom. Similar story. This time, three goals in the opening 20 minutes. Um, Akisar Spore pulled one back before half time and then if you look at the match stats I don't think that really tells the full story because we weren't that bad <laughs> but they did have a lot of chances particularly in the second half I guess in the in the second half they kind of they made some changes to their tactics and I just kept trying to contain them and drop a bit deeper um, they did have a lot of long shots um, so that's why I'm saying that's maybe a little bit misleading. So what we're going to do today anyway, we've got Besiktas at home. Um, so this is going to be a tough match, obviously, against one of the best teams in the league. Uh, then I'm probably going to skip the cup game. It's the first leg. Uh, it is a potentially tricky tie to a mid-table side from the first league, from the Birinji League. But, you know, it's not a key game, so we'll probably... Uh, do the Kayseri Spore match as well, which is also going to be a tough game. But anyway, let's get on with Besiktas. So here we are, ready for today's match. As you can see, Besiktas are the favourites. We've been in decent form. They've been a little bit inconsistent, but uh, yeah, I'm not expecting. Uh, I'm not expecting a win. Would be a nice surprise if we get one. Uh, so this is the team I'm going with. Uh, so, again, we're using the defensive midfielder rather than a deep line playmaker this time. Um, and I've set up a bit more of a defensive mentality because uh, I know they're going to be better than us in attack. Um, 
but I'm hoping you know we're going to be using the target man. I've used Elvis up front because um, Skuletic has been in pretty poor form. It has to be said. Uh, Elvis had some good games um, in it. In the support role, I've put him on a false nine rather than a poacher. I just want to see how it works, basically. So um, let's have a look. Let's submit the team and get ready for kickoff. Okay, let's do it properly this time. All right, so I'm looking for us to be strong in the middle of the park, uh, and I'll be hoping for those fullbacks to be hitting the deep crosses uh, up to the target man. And we'll see what all 194 centimeters of Mariki does. Okay, this is a tough one to call. Um, pick up where you left off against Akisas. Well, where we left off was 15 minutes of them <laughs> throwing everything at us and us hanging on to to our lead. So uh, let's go out there and give these fans their money's worth. The Hoff like that. Several players listen keenly. The ass man can do a few uh, one-to-ones. Okay. Uh, Polytechnic isn't involved today. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's being rested. Nothing more than that. Polytechnic is the name I've given to Polyvetic or whatever our Belarusian, our Belarusian centre-back is. All right. So... Not a huge amount going on in that opening period, but we're starting off with a Genshler attack. Mariki has the ball. We're just patiently playing the wing. Okay, knock it in towards Issa, who punts one over the top. And Elvis, oh, 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 on the volley. Nearly got us off to a cracking start. Let me just check, actually. Yeah, I'm on key highlights. Sorry about the last video. I had two games on extended highlights, and that ended up running to almost 45 minutes. So I'm going to try and keep this episode... A little bit shorter. But okay, Besiktas are coming at us. Uh, they're knocking it about a bit here. Trying to work into the space. Oh no! Oof. How did he miss that? I mean, and how did he get into that space? Um, okay, Besiktas certainly early on were concentrating down that flank, but that's going to balance out a bit. Ooh, we need to be doing more with those set pieces. And now are they going to catch us on the break? Oh, how, how how did we leave that much space there? Okay, that, I'm obviously going to have to have a look at our free kick setup. We're leaving way too much space at the back. Okay, again, Besiktas getting a lot more of the ball than us. Okay, but nice play, Ahmet. Ew. Went for a pass into the centre, though. I'd rather have seen him knock that out to the wing okay but we've got it now Mariki he's played the ball across to okay he did get it to Elvis Elvis nice control skips past his man hits in the cross and it comes to Issa Mariki can he do it yes 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 oh great goal great goal I like the way we got forward there and we're 1-0 up against Besiktas lovely stuff let's have a look at that again Elvis fantastic mazy run Whips in the cross. The defence don't really deal with it. Issa nods it to the target man. Takes a touch. Hits it on the turn. Where has that kind of play been all season? Okay, I know Chifji's looking complacent. I do not like that. But I am going to encourage. Nevertheless, it's only one player looking complacent for now. Yeah, let's keep this going. We've got them We got them rocking, rocking even. we got them on the ropes. So let's uh, press this home while we can. This defensive formation is quite attacking at the moment. Okay, Mariki. And is it... Yes. Oh, yes. I don't believe it. We're 2-0 up. Mariki, take that cartwheel, man. You deserve it. 2-0 up. Lovely stuff. So Ilhan kind of cuts inside here. Issa is the man who just knocks it back to Ilhan. Lovely through ball. One touch. Hits it across the face of the keeper. I am liking what I'm seeing. Besiktas are looking frustrated. Okay, I'm going to have to tell... Oh, I can't tell them anything at the moment. Okay, and Negredo has pulled one back pretty quickly for Besiktas. That is not what we wanted to happen at this point.
Okay, interesting that we're both kind of having joy on that left flank. All right, not much going on now, but I'm very happy with what we've got so far. Not happy about Issa and Chifji. In every match, they start to look complacent once we've taken the lead. So that's something we're going to have to sort out. Now I'll tell them to concentrate. Okay. Yep. You can take shots like that all day. We do not mind. Okay, I think... Oh, there's going to be a final highlight here. Hopefully this is not Besiktas just sending the ball straight back down. Good. Elvis picks it up. He's dropped deep as a false nine. He's off on another run. And a terrible shot. Come on. Come on, Elvis. You can do better than that. Ah, oh, no. Guy Delay's picked up a knock. Okay, I'm going to bring in Skekik. He has been expressing his frustration at being left out of the team. But we'll bring in Skekik. The other option would be to drop Issa further back and bring on the great Khalili. But the great Khalili is also... He's not been in great form. He had a couple of good games. He was playing well in the last episode, but... He, ha he hasn't been playing well. He's been part of the problem with the other teams overrunning us. Uh, okay, that half ran 51 minutes. Seems a bit excessive, but let's go into the dressing room and we'll tell the team. Uh, I'm just going to tell them that they're doing well. Keep it up. I'm not going to say anything different against Besiktas, but I'm going to have a word with Ur Chifji because I'm not happy about him looking complacent. Uh, same for Kamal Issa. Come on. Okay. They still look complacent. Let's just have a look at what's going on here. I mean, obviously, oh, we're kind of <laughs> a bit scattered. We're obviously not getting that much of the ball. But, you know, I don't want to tinker too much. I mean, look at that. We... Seven shots, four on target to their ten and only three on target. I mean, I'm happy with that. It's more than I expected at the start of this match. So let's see. I might have to check out it's Hutchinson. Who is that? I feel like I should know who that is. Very English-sounding name. Okay. Uh, you're not going to just let him walk around with it, are you? Let's close some people down here. Okay, safe hands from the half. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, Hoff hoofs up front, and it's nice. Get straight into Elvis, off on another run, and another wayward long shot. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that a bit. Okay, now Ur uh, Chifji is still looking complacent. Kamalusa went from nervous to complacent very quickly. Okay, uh, not sure what that's about. Okay, but it's been a fairly quiet second half so far. We're happy with this. Uh, might look into making a sub. Uh, yeah, Ahmet on the left wing is looking a bit tired. I could bring on... Okay, let's bring Milinkovic back into the team. He got injured. Was it the first or the second game of the season? He got his hip injury. We'll just bring him back into the team. Uh, let's tell them to concentrate again. Getting some people looking complacent. Our opposition are starting to look frustrated. Which is good. That might lead into some silly mistakes. But now we've got to defend. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Deary me. That was a soft goal to concede. I did not like that at all. Oh. See, again, we haven't built on that first half performance. We've hardly added, we've only had a couple of wayward shots where as Besiktas have kept coming forward. So that's something to address. Oh, look at that. He just got between the defenders and a simple lobbing over the keeper. Right, oh, I should have tightened up before this maybe, but we'll let this highlight play out. No, 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 good save, Hoff, good save. Okay, let's do some... Uh, Let's do some tactical tweaking here. Uh, okay, we're already pretty defensive, so what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to drop a bit deeper. And we are going to retain possession. We'll keep playing out of defense. Um, of course, if we concede here... 
going to be a bit more disciplined. If we concede here, we're going to have to change this up again. Okay, so let's let this corner play out. Yeah, they've got Charisma, of course. Ricardo Charisma in the team. Not an... Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I was worried we were going to gift them something there. Let's look for some time-wasting subs. Some time-wasting subs, please. Uh, I think I've only got one substitute left, haven't I? Okay, Shaban Ishuk, come on. Uh, Mariki, of course, is on a hat-trick. I'm going to put Shaban Ishuk on. I'm going to make him a poacher. That's a good role for him. Of course, it's an attacking role. I'm going to drop you back to support. And what else can we do here? We're just going to put the full-backs on to defend. And tell them to tighten up. Okay, come on. It's a shame that we've given up a two-goal lead. But 2-2... Two -two you know, that's one of the... OK, it's not over yet. Oh, the youngster Shaban nearly got through. But 2-2, two -two, it's one of those results where if we'd been offered that before, the kickoff in that classic footballing cliche, we would have taken it. We wouldn't have taken a 3-2 defeat, though. And, oh, thank you, Hoff. Thank you, thank you. You saved it well. OK, come on, ref, blow the whistle. That's it, ref. Thank you very much, referee. 2-2 two -two at home to Besiktas. OK, I've got to say I'm happy with the result. Very happy with that opening performance. But again, this is the pattern that I talked about in those previous two games. Started out very well. We capitalized on it with early goals. And then in the second half, we were poor. And they started to take pot shots at us. So that is something, that is a puzzle that I need to work out. So if you have any idea dear viewers why that kind of stuff is happening then uh, let me know okay uh, so I am going to tell them that they were unlucky today they could have won that game I'm going to tell Ur Chief G oh, look at his final rating a 6.1 I'm going to have to tell him that he was rubbish he seems down and pressurized well I don't care he's been causing all kinds of trouble for me in the locker room okay so that was a pretty exciting game. I am just going to skip ahead here. We're going to play the cup game and we'll come back for our match with Kaiser Spore. See you on the other side of the crossfade. And welcome back. We've gone through to the next weekend. And these are the lineup of matches. We see Besiktas Trebs on Spore is highlighted as match of the week. But we get the early Saturday kickoff. We're away to Kaiser Spore. If I just show you the table. See, Kayseri Spor are currently sitting in fifth. They're having a very good season. They're performing above expectations. Uh, so it's going to be a tough trip for us. So we are going to line up again with uh, with our defensive midfielder formation. So um, I've, I've kept a similar team before. I just brought in Zeki. Uh, he's a backup right back um, because I made a bit of a, a boo-boo with the cup game. I brought in our reserve right back who is completely knackered because he hasn't played much, not realising that our first choice right back is suspended for this game. So I brought in our, our third choice right back, so hopefully he's going to be all right. Uh, some team dynamics news. Club captain Ur, the assistant manager, has come to speak to me to say that he's really been putting in extra effort in training, and I warned him, um, gave him a disciplinary warning after that match against Besiktas in his 6.1 rating, and he seems to have bucked his ideas up. I also... Left him out for the cup game on rotation, but I'm going to let him think that I dropped him. Uh, the cup game, if I just show you that quickly, uh, is a bit more of the same thing we've been seeing in the league. 2-2. Two -two. So, okay, we got the away goals and we didn't lose. But if you look at the match stats, it's the same old story. We started well. We took a uh, first half lead. And whatever the AI is doing in, in the halftime, whether it's through a rousing team talk or some tactical tweaks, they are coming back at me. And they got the two goals. And most of those shots they had came in the second half. So that's something to work on. As I said, if you've got any ideas what's causing all of that, please do let me know. But now, 
let's play our match with Kaiseri Spore. So we've got we're in decent form. Kaiseri Spore have been a bit inconsistent. You see, they were on a nice run, but win, uh, loss, win, loss in their last three matches. But they are favourites, and probably deservedly so. So let's get straight into it. Um, yeah, I've also uh, yeah I forgot to mention defensive midfield has caused a bit of a headache for me. I mean Kemalisa is fine. I'm happy to have him in defensive midfield. Uh, Guy Delay is injured, and then before ahead of the cup game, I was asked who I saw as his replacement. I said Skekik, um, who hasn't had as much game time as he perhaps expected, and then he duly got injured in training on the very same day. So we don't have any backup. Uh, if anything happens to Isa here. Okay, I'm going to say... What were the underdogs? That suits us down to the ground. That's causing upset. Yeah, um, didn't have a great effect. But okay, we got Polytechnic delighted from telling him he was good in the last match. All right, let's get straight into it then. We're playing in the black. Let's see what we can do against Kaiseri Sport. Kaiseri, famous for its apricots, in case you didn't know. Okay, straight out to Elvis. Whips in the cross to Shaban. Oh, look at that. 18 seconds on the clock and we've scored. And it's the youngster Shaban. Fantastic stuff. Great. A fantastic early start. Now watch us blow it in the second half. Okay, let's have a look at that again. Sedar knocks a long ball to Elvis, just controls it, high cross, and Shaban does the job. That is fantastic. 18 seconds on the clock. That could even be a record. Okay, and Kaiser is for nearly leveled immediately. Oh, they've come, they've come right back at as you can see from the match stats there. Okay. Have we given away a penalty? Oh, we have. Again. Again. We just keep giving away penalties. Okay. Come on, keeps. Ah. You went the wrong way and you dived well after he kicked it. But Okay. After that great start, it's back to 1-1. One, one. And again... Urchifji and Great Kali are looking complacent. Why? Concentrate. Get your minds focused. Isa, why are you looking nervous? I don't know. Okay, but it's, the game's calmed down a bit now, although Kaiseri Sport are all over us going on the stats. But obviously not all over us in a good enough way to make a highlight out of it. We've nearly got to half time. There's probably going to be one highlight. Yeah, I thought there'll be a highlight. They've got a lung in goal. Uh, I nearly had a pun, something about giving air to their defence or something, but uh, I couldn't quite find it. But okay, Espinosa and uh, working it into the box. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. It's so a little bit different to normal in that rather than go in with a half-time lead and then get out done in the second half, we took a first-minute lead and we've been out done for the rest of the half. Okay, no need to give a shout now because we're going to be in the dressing room. I'll tell them what I think soon enough. Okay, we are going to say... You need to be much better in the second half. Why is it with this Urchivchi guy? I mean, he is not putting in a good performance at all. And he just is looking uninterested. So let's be assertive with him. Yeah, I am not happy with your performance today. Okay, that's got him fired up. He still looks a bit uninterested. And the great Carlili. Of course, these are the players who've been asking for new contracts. Same thing for you. He's got 6.5. He switched off. Not the best. Okay, let's have a look. So they're getting... Yeah, that's Urchifji's side. 
They're getting a lot of attacks down there. So, what can we do about that? Should I be telling him... I've got him marking... Got him oh, wh why is he marking... Okay, maybe this is the problem. Now, in a previous match, I did have this set for him to... Yeah, he should be marking the attacking midfielder right. Or just take that off completely. Let's just take that off completely. Maybe that's going to make the difference. Maybe that's why he's been so rubbish. Let me just check what I've got. Okay, I don't have anything that I've... Okay, I must have been thinking something at some point when setting up the tactic. And that's what we ended up with. Uh, let me check my wingers aren't down to mark anybody. Okay. Right, let's start the second half then. So that, yeah, must mean if he was marking... The, oh, that's Asamoah Gyan. A familiar name to Sunderland fans, I'm sure. Okay, this is good, this is good. Elvis is going to go on one of his runs. Now, don't shoot, don't shoot. Yes, yes, yes! Elvis crosses to Shaban again. That is a great combination. <laughs> And it's after one minute this time. So obviously we start the halves very well. Now I just need to add another 44 minutes to that. And I think I've got a good team and a good winning tactic. But look at that. Great one from Elvis. Did exactly the right job. He had three players near him. Just dinked it over the top. And Shaban just hits it first time. I like this Shaban guy. That is a good pairing up front. Okay, what are we going to tell them to do here? Let's encourage them. We're going to encourage more of that play. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. I was just saying with Urchifji, if then I didn't realise that I had him marking like a central midfielder, then of course he's been out of position all the time. Teams have been attacking us down our left flank. Okay, hopefully that's going to fix some problems for us. But Kayseri Sport are still on top. Come on, deal with it. Get it out. Get, boot it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. How, you cannot give them space to do that kind of short passing in our penalty box. That is not good. Now, it doesn't help that we only had one guy out there, but look at that. Short pass, short pass, triangle passing... Okay, what are we going to do about this? I'm going to say we're going to have to get stuck in. And we're on the defensive mentality, of course. So that's why they're not closing down, maybe. Let's switch to standard then. Close down more often. Yeah, let's play it wider as we're looking to hit early crosses. I'm going to take off play out of defense. Clear ball to flanks. All right. And, yeah, that'll do for now. Let's see. Let's see if that helps or makes things worse. And straight away it's a corner for them. And oh, dearie me. How did they have that much space? Okay, come on. Let me make a shout. Uh, concentrate. Let's make some subs. Who is looking tired? Shaban Ishik is running out of steam. So we're going to put Skuletic on. And now I'm going to get that sh dumb question about taking him off when he was on a hat-trick. Uh, let's get Carlili off the pitch. 6.5 and looking and uninterested. I do not like that. Oh, but look at that. Claro and Chifji. What are they doing? 
I'm going to make all three subs now. I'm going to take Claro off because I've got a decent replacement for him, but I don't have a decent replacement for Chifchi. I need to look for a better left back. That's got to be a January transfer priority, I think. Okay, come on, Polytechnic. Show us what you made of. Oh, right idea, right idea. Just didn't quite hit it hard enough. And now they're coming at us again. No chance to make another shout just yet. Okay, that's the kind of way we need to deal with it. And yes, it's out to Elvis. Now, is he going to... Okay, he's played it into the center this time. And, oh, it's through to Skuletic. And, oh, he nearly equalized for us. He nearly equalized for us. What do we say then, tactics-wise? Uh, let's switch to this formation that we've been using at home. Uh, I'm going to change Issa to an attacking advanced playmaker. Uh, it's going to be taking a bit of a risk here. We'll put the fullbacks on attacking as well. I might as well go for it. I'm not going to sit back when we're on 3-2. Let's have a look at the team instructions. So we're going to go higher. Uh, let's go with a high tempo. Let's go wide. Uh, we're going to hit early crosses and pump that ball into the box. We've got the big guys up front, so let's go for it. Can I give him a shout? Go on, push forward. Come on, give us something. All those changes, and then we just ran through to the end of the game. Okay, come on, come on, this is our last chance. Hit it forward. Come on, Skeletic, chase him down, chase him down, Elvis. Chase him down. Someone. No, don't let him just knock it through the center of our defense like it's not there. Okay. Never mind. Nothing came of that. Well, we lost 3-2, but the stats suggest we should have lost 5-2 like we did against Antalya Spore. Okay. Obviously still work to do. The boys, they did well and their efforts were excellent. Um... I don't know. I'm not actually happy with their performance out there. Okay, I'll let them. I'll let them feel happy on that. Um, he's disenchanted, but I don't know. Uh, the Urchifji problem. What are we going to do about Urchifji? Okay, so we lost. But well, we lost to the team that were in fifth at the start of the game. Let's see what that does to the table now. So, yeah, that moves Kayseri Sport up to third. That leaves us in 12th. Although, obviously, well, Gus Tepe still have to play, but even if they win, we're going to stay in 12th. We have missed out on an opportunity to get into the top 10 of the table, though. So, if we look at our upcoming games... Okay, so we're going to play Malatya Sport, who are down at the bottom... Uh, Konya Spor are just um, they're just around the same place as us in the table I think uh, Kasim Pasha I think they're doing quite well and then that completes the first half of the season and then we've got the cup game as well I'm tempted to come back and show you Galatasaray Fenerbahce again but of course we've already done that that was um, that was episode 2 if you haven't watched that please you know go back uh, uh, and watch it well let me know what you think would you rather me showcase the big teams again Galatasaray and Fenerbahce, the games that we're probably going to lose, or would you like to see, for example, the Ankara Derby against Osman Laspor, um, and maybe Karabuk Spor, who are a fellow struggling side, so maybe those will be better matches. Let me know in the comments uh, which, which games you'd rather see, but for now, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content and more Breaking the Big Three episodes. I'm Dodgy Gamer. And I'll see you next time.